All right, so a lot of you guys are struggling to beat Sin right now. I'm going to teach you exactly how you need to beat him, starting with defense. Let's start off by talking about his best special move overall, which probably is Elk Hunt, because the mix-ups you get off of this move are really dumb, and you need to prevent him from getting there in the first place. So when you're defending in the corner, so when you're defending in the corner, you need to be in the lookout to throw him out of this move. I mean, you get 2k, you could reversal, but whatever it is, you just don't let him get away with this move anymore. Because this is V way he sets up his offense outside of close slash and stuff like that. If you block it, I mean, you're forced to either reset, your risk gets super cranked up, and he can throw you. There's like a million things he can do. Do not let him get away with this stupid ass move right here. The next special move we gotta talk about is his beak driver. Because basically, this is his fast way of getting like frame trap stuff like that. Like, you do one, two, three, and boom. He wants to frame trap you there. But this move is often compared to Gabari, which I swear to God is a really dumb comparison because their frame data is like entirely different. This move here has like no disjoint, it's minus 14. Like, look what was about to happen here, right? If you make them block a string like this one, I mean, he literally just straight up punishes you if you don't do it. And as well, you can try and get a DP between the string. Because remember, the fact he wants to frame trap you with this move, right? So he's just going to leave like a little gap. And that's when you get the DP out. Honestly, having a DP against him is actually a really big help. But you can often OS there. Like just this move gets, loses a DP. This move loses a DP. And his overhead loses a DP. Now you can do shit like this and he'll kill you, right? But just don't do it every time. If you have a read on him, this is your chance to use it. Now generally... He's going to want to go to the follow-up because it's way safer. It's at minus three. So he's in your face. He's at minus three. Uh, really, the only thing you have to worry about is him jumping back, back dashing, or pressing DP. Or DP. Or 6P. These are all pretty committal, except maybe back dash or back jump. But most of the time after blocking it, you can kind of just get away. After blocking the move, you can usually get away with just pressing 2K. And you'll probably be forced to block that and you get your pressure started. But... Otherwise, you're just kind of waiting for him to go into the special, and then you just go for your 2k. It's not a true punish, and maybe you could try and dash grab him after, but the only thing to look out for is his DP. But if you beta, he fucking dies. So, uh, good luck, guys, with that one. All right, I lied. There's actually one more thing to look out for. It's Gazelle Step, which is his command dash. It's like Nago Fukio, except it's not good. You have to, because you can't, like, Fukio back and then, like, go in and stuff like that. You're, you're hard committed to that, to that dash in. So be ready to throw him out of this, basically, or like DPM or 2k. Don't let him get away, like, let's like, get some pressure going, you know what I mean? Like, don't let him get away with this shit. Also, you guys need to look for some fake setups. Just using this one as an example here. Like, this is not a safe jump. This shit does not work. Same thing after a super wall break. This guy does not have a safe jump. Like, look at this shit. Like, nah, he doesn't, ha he doesn't have one. Maybe if your reversal is really slow, but... If he's going for fake shit, just, just like, boom. Or if you don't have a DP, well, uh, switch to a different character, man. I don't know what to tell you. Oh, yeah. First, overhead. Remember, it's just not super, like, uh, convertible without meter and stuff like that. So, really, when he has one bar, just kind of be ready. Like, he'll do close slash and, like, just go overhead. And then if he has one bar, convert that. But without it, I mean, you won't really see it super often, I find. At least in my opinion. I don't use it much without one bar. Now, I just want to remind you guys a little bit of frame data. This plus one, but his frame traps are pretty good. Like, he has 5H. He has 2S. He has 2K. And stuff like that, and they're all really like not that bad for your data wise. Like this move is pretty much safe. This move is super safe. They're all around minus five, minus four. Uh, this move is not that safe. Cause this move is minus four, but you don't see it super often. But mainly just remember, he's gonna be doing a whole lot of like resets and stuff like that. So you have to take your turn back sometimes. But you know, if he's resetting, you just keep in mind his stream does pretty good. Stay safe. But the main way you can make his pressure way harder for him is to use FD or even IB is actually pretty good, but. I know you guys aren't going to do that. Like, just remember, look how far out he is after this. Like, you can you can barely reach you for low. He has to, like, dash farther to get that close slash reset. I mean, using FD is just a good way of breaking up that kind of pressure. Don't let him get away with this shit. Use FD. Just trust me. So, yeah, next thing we're going to talk about is his round start. Depending on the character, is actually really fucking trash. Now, the main option you're looking out for, really, isn't actually a direct attack. It's actually when he walks back into Elk Hunt. Because that shit's actually really good. If you press any button, you're basically probably not going to hit him out of this. This is really good. And sometimes his, like, jab, like, his 5P can be good. Like, if you're fighting, if you're playing his Ram, he could be most of your options with, like, a walk-up 5P. That's just, like, one step 5P, one step 5P. That's really good. His 2S can be good, but not really. Obviously, he has DPs. Obviously, he can try and jump, but his jumps are kind of bad, to be honest. So, just kind of... 
be careful of that. But if you're playing Nago, and I know a lot of you guys play Nago out here. Now, if you guys play Nago, uh, you guys are eating good. He does literally, he literally does not have a single button that beats DP. I, I mean, not literally. I've pressed every single button. It does not exist. So what he has to do at round start is walk back and bait it, right? Like walk back Elk Hunt, which is a classic strategy. But if he think, if you know he's going to walk back, he just clip his toes with the 2S and it, it's practically almost a 50-50. So he's forced to like backdash or or jump. But any actual action you can take to punish the the 2S. I mean, he can sweep it, right? But then if he goes for sweep, he can just get Shizu she, she, Ryuki. So it's it's not a good look. I mean, honestly, if you have a good low hitting normal and neutral, it'll probably work pretty well at round start. Like using me as an example. Like he has to walk back to beat it. Like boom. Like, he literally cannot mash on this 2 s round star. It does not happen. So what you have to do is, is walk back and be like, with punish, with like 5k, or a gazelle step, or like, dash in 2k. He has to walk back pretty often, to be honest. So be ready to do things like an overshot dolphin to reach him as he moves backwards. It's pretty rough for him. Sometimes he can deal with it, with it pretty well, but not always, not always. Now, there are two things I'm going to say for their neutral game against him, besides round star, you know. Uh, his anti-airs are actually really good. His 6p reaches really far. It's like Tasman 6p, but not as good. But his air tears are good. Like, this move is really good. It's just really fast. You're not going to punish him if he goes for it. Just air dash back right away. You're not going to get him for that. He, he's pretty, he's good. His JH has a disjoint at the tip of it. So he can just kind of like snipe you out of the air if you have a non-disjointed air attack. It's pretty bad for you. His 2h is pretty baitable, but, you know, it's still good if he hits it. You can even just like elk hunt under a lot of your like air attacks and stuff like that. He can sweep your landing. He can walk back elk hunt. He has a million options for swatting you out of the air. So you're going to play on the ground and play some ground footsies. Play some goddamn guillotine gear. You know what I mean? Play some street fighter. I don't know, man. I don't know what to tell you. Now the main flaw of him is that he's pretty uh forced to approach if I'm being honest with you, and his approach options aren't actually that good. The main buttons he'll be approaching with are run up 2s because it reaches pretty far and has a disjoint on it. This has a tip a little bit. And he'll probably be trying to force approaches of like an L cunt if he thinks he'll be trying to uh, back up. He can try and approach with like this to fuck if you're 6p, I guess. He can try and uh, run up far slash if you do, well, GG. It's, it's good for you. His approach options are not the best. So, what you're going to want to do is your style. You're going to want to back up, back up, back up. Make him want to overextend and then like run up in 2S, run up in 5K. Here's a button that will counter hit him out of the 5K approaches. Here's five ways off the top of my head here I can punish his five, his run up 2S. You counter hit it. You backdash it and you go in for a whiff punish. You try and jump over it. You hit it with like a dolphin. You can even really run up and throw him out of it. Depending on what he does after, you can just do whatever but basically you want to make him run into you and try and take some space and like control his zone and stuff like that now in neutral the biggest thing you're looking out for though is actually his elk hunt as always because the low profile is a lot of things and uh it, it, if it if it's blocked right it gives him a ton of pressure like we mentioned before like for example you can just set up like a thing where you do one projectile two projectile just to make him think of that after one projectile you'll do it again and then after that you can just do one projectile and block I mean, he'll probably try and low profile it if they're really dumb and bad. And if you know it's coming, you can ju just throw him out of it always. You can hit him with a low attack. You can try and jump over it. There's a lot of things you can do, but it's pretty easy to bait out. And if you get a hit, I mean, it's a good situation for you, right? Because you get to throw him into the corner and stuff like that. It's pretty good. Those are my main tips for fighting Sin. So if you guys have any questions, uh, ask it down below and I'll get back to you guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Subscribe.